Before the video begins, I'd like you all to take a moment to subscribe to Fun Taurus. After Boolet, Fun Taurus is going to be working on the Power Level Warrior games from then on, and he needs all the support he can get. Thank you. What's up guys, this is Based Brawler, and in this video I'm going to be going over Fun Taurus's game that's coming soon. And basically what it is, is it's a Power Level Warrior Tap Trainer. Which is basically like, I will be doing a video on another game that I've played before that's similar to this. And this game does have a similar play style. It's very simple. If you guys have played games like Make It Rain or I'm trying to think of another one. I can't really think of it at the moment. Uh, Adventure Capitalist, stuff like that. That's pretty much what it is. Except in this game, it is... It's a timed thing, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. In those games, you just keep adding upgrades, and it keeps going. And once you have enough money, you um, buy an upgrade. And this one, it's a little bit different, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So let's get to the gameplay, alright? I'm also going to go over little things that I notice at the start. Uh, such as there's a share button, upgrade, and all that. So yeah, let's go to it. It's a very simple thing. Also, at the moment, the animations are kind of wonky because the game isn't completed, of course. This is just an overview. And my dog's barking. Alright, so, it has a timer at the start. Three, two, one, all that. And as you can see, the green timer right there, that's how much time you have to do what I'm about to show you in a second. So, you tap the screen as fast as you can, and you gain your power level. And then after that's done, you get your high score. Alright? And every time you level up, you get a coin. The star coin at the top left. And that's how you upgrade. You spend that on upgrade points. Also, I know you guys probably get annoyed when I talk about my manga. But later on in this video, it will say that this is Rosato from Power Level Warrior 1. This is, in fact, Rosato. However, if you guys follow my manga, in my manga, this is actually Rice. So, in the game, it is Rosato canonically. It is Rosato, but in my manga, this is Rice because his outfit and gear look a little bit different, as well as his hair. But, for those of you who want to stay true to the games, this is Rosato. Alright, I don't want to confuse you guys too much with that. But yeah, and as you upgrade, you will be able to get a higher power level. As you can see, his nearly doubled at the end there. So yeah. And then if you look right here, here is the menu with all the characters. So like I just said, Rosato. That's Rosato from Power Level Warrior 1. And you will get each model from each game and just see how... Boolet has improved as a developer when it comes to models and everything. As well as you'll also get to see Fun Taurus work on this game for the first time. And sort of get used to game developing on all that. And going through all those things, alright? So, it's almost over. As you can see, like I said, the animations are kind of wonky. But right here, he switches to Mirror, okay? Now, this is pretty much it when it comes to me going over the game. Like, this is all the gameplay for now. After this, the video sort of ends. But what I'm going to go over right now has to do with my manga. His eyes are blue right here. In my manga, his eyes are blue as well. Okay? But the reason why they're red in Power Level Warrior 2 and the final is because of my storyline for Rice and Rice Set. And mirror is that because they didn't learn how to unlock their potential at first and unleash their full power as sages their sage forms corrupted them once they became legendary because the power was too much for them to handle i mean they could handle it and they could control it but in the meantime their bodies became so used to it that it just became second nature and their eyes meant that it's corrupted so basically, in their base forms, they can achieve that power, okay? But enough talking about my manga, back to the game. Like I said, that's pretty much it. 
I'm not sure if this is going to be Android first and then Apple. I think that's how it's going to go, though, because that's how most of Bullet games work. Is it will first appear on Android and then for Apple. And yeah, so this is also a fun way to introduce your friends to Power Level Warrior. Is if they don't necessarily like the gameplay of it. Like the fighting of it. They can also just do this little power up thing. And it's just a fun mini game. For like any casual uh, mobile gamer. Like your parents or something. Not saying your parents would be interested in this. But also like one of your friends or anything like that. But anyway I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next one, whenever that may be. Goodbye.